Several studies have shown that an infection is caused by the presence of millions of bacteria per gram of tissue in the body. Surgical sutures can get contaminated by bacteria present in the environment or through the patient's own normal flora. It is now widely accepted that a suture material provides a nidus for microbial adherence and can lead to wound contamination. Surgical site infection, SSI, occurs when pathogens proliferate in surgical wounds, resulting in an impedance to wound healing. When suture is implanted, a coating of protein is formed around the suture, which becomes a site for bacterial colonization. This further leads to a biofilm formation on the suture surface, allowing the bacteria to resist the phagocytic activity of the leukocytes. This condition thereby leads to a prolonged infective state because the formed biofilm is capable of resisting the activity of systemic or topical antibiotics. This biofilm formation can even lead to an aggravated state of antibiotic recalcitrance, where the bacteria present inside the biofilm attain the capacity to survive even under higher antibiotic concentration due to formation of an isolated state. Today, SSI is highly prevalent among surgical patients around the world. It is rated as the most frequent complication in this patient population, being responsible for 38% of infections and majority of the SSI are caused by Staphylococcus species of bacteria. Thus, SSI has become one of the major concerns among hospitalized patients. As per evidence, SSI is associated with high clinical and economic burden, increasing hospital stay of patients by up to 3 to 20 days. SSI is also associated with a mortality rate of 3% and 75% of the SSI-associated deaths are directly attributable to the SSI. There is a significant relationship between SSI and diabetic patients. Hyperglycemia is controlled for surgery or during hospital stay but majority of the patients fail to manage it after discharge. Keeping in mind all the problems which are responsible for surgical site infection, a new approach was developed to reduce complications of SSI. This approach should help us to prevent these major problems. Antibacterial sutures have proven to overcome the serious problem of SSI by preventing bacterial colonization, which will further not allow biofilm formation and antibacterial recalcitrance. We affirmed this by conducting a test at our laboratory with Mitsu AB antibacterial suture and plain suture. Petri plates were inoculated with bacteria, Staphylococcus auris or E. coli. In the result, plain suture was surrounded by bacterial colonization, whereas a shield was formed around Mitsu AB suture, which protects the suture from bacterial colonization. In this zone of inhibition, bacteria did not grow around the suture which is coated with antimicrobial agent triclosan. This shows that triclosan in Mitsu AB inhibits and does not allow bacterial growth and bacterial colonization on sutures. It offers a safety shield. Mitsu AB is a braided absorbable suture made up of biodegradable polymer, that is, Polyglactin 910 and is coated with powerful antimicrobial agent triclosan. Mitsu AB provides reducing bacterial colonization, biofilm formation, reducing antibiotic usage, reducing chances of hospital readmission, reducing the length of hospital stay, and hence the economic burden, reducing complication in diabetic and immune compromised patients. Mitsu AB provides a safety shield and helps to reduce the problems associated with SSI.